Nice ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink 2-4. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is not. At T plus 30 seconds, successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg at 7.43 a.m. Pacific time. We had some fantastic views from the ground, and now we're looking at a great view Nominal from power the telemetry. first stage's onboard camera as we pop through the cloud layer. Vehicle is supersonic. Now we're traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there we are through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's the highest stresses that we'll feel during the flight. Now, we are about one minute away from several events back-to-back. -back. The first of those will be MECO, that's main engine cutoff. Back engine chill has started. Followed by a stage separation, and then SES-1 and fairing separation. So MECO is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin engines in preparation for separating the stages at stage sep. And then at second engine start number one, we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, we will separate the fairing halves and return them to planet Earth while the second stage continues with our Starlink satellites to space. In those events, back to back, Miko, stage separation, second engine start number one, followed by fairing separation. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And with that, we had successful Miko stage separation. You can uh, see the Merlin vacuum is ignited and even saw the f uh, fairing half there in the shot. We're looking at a live view right now on the left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've deployed the grid fins in preparation for re-entry. On the right-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's second stage. That's a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine. Now those two fairing halves, we will be attempting to recover them once they come back to planet Earth and use them again on a future mission. First stage has deployed its grid fins. You can see two of them on your screen. Those uh, periodic bursts of white gas you're seeing are from our attitude control system. We're reorienting the first stage to get the engines pointed down for its next major milestone, which will be the entry burn. Both stages are following a nominal trajectory. That call out, that means that both of the stages, the first and second stages, are on the intended flight paths. The first stage at this point is on a, a parabola headed back towards our drone ship, which again is stationed off the coast of Baja, California. The second stage, which is uh, about a couple minutes into its burn, 
uh, this burn lasting until about T plus eight minutes and 40 seconds. It's carrying our Starlink satellites to orbit. A Starlink mission marks 204th mission for SpaceX overall and our fifth mission for this year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Both stages are still on a nominal trajectory. You might have noticed that the first stage's altitude is decreasing. That makes sense because it's heading back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. The first stage's next major milestone is coming up in about 20 seconds. That'll be the entry burn where it'll light three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn startup. There is successful ignition of those three Merlin engines, this burn lasting about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Successful shutdown of those Merlin engines. major event on the first stage. Stage the, one, FTS is saved. The landing burn start just after T plus eight minutes. Stage one, transonic. With that, that means the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound. We've got a few events coming up back to back here. First will be the landing burn on the first stage. That burn will continue until the first stage lands. During the landing burn, we'll also hear a call out for second engine cutoff number one, or SECO one, on the second stage. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. Started a single Merlin engine on the first stage. We'll expect to see the landing legs deploy shortly. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. Back Successful down. landing of Falcon 9's first stage. You also heard a call out there for MVAC shutdown. Now, this landing marks our 166th overall landing of an orbital class rocket that includes both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy Nominal missions. Orbit insertion. Stage one, 